Today, we are going to be customizing a bunch of stuff with a bunch of markers. These markers here, you have seen me use throughout the years on my channel. I have a bunch of them in this little bin and I have been customizing tons of stuff with them. But now we have a bigger set, so let's do some art. So as I said, I have been using Art X markers for a really long time. You have seen them in my sketchbook videos, customization videos, tons of other videos on my channel. And Art X has kindly agreed to sponsor this video. So thank you RX for supporting my channel. I really like these markers because they are super adhesive and they stick to a lot of different surfaces and they have a ton of different colors. I just think that's really cool because it makes it possible to do a lot of different types of art with these markers. So let me open it up for you. Look how cute their packaging is by the way. Oh my goodness. That's cute. There's tons of swatches. Oh, this is super cute. You can put all these stickers on the markers so you can tell what colors they are and match them to the back of the box. The other thing that's really cool with these markers, the box itself is a storage case, which is awesome. Like the packaging is already super aesthetically pleasing. But the fact that this can hold all your markers and you don't have to buy anything extra is just awesome. Especially because you don't have to like put all your markers away. You just put the lid on and then pull it out later when you wanna use it. Okay, another sweet thing about these, which you've heard me talk about in previous videos, but these markers have a brush tip here. It's very flexible. It allows you to do thin lines, thick lines, and just have a lot of freedom with your artwork. So if you're somebody who really likes brush nib markers, I'm telling you, these are golden. They're so good. So yeah, I'm really thrilled to be working with ArtX. Once again, thank you for sponsoring this video. If you would like some of these markers for yourself, I will link them down below. I really think you guys will enjoy these. They're super affordable and they're really high quality. So that's why I just really love using them. And I'm really excited to have a 60 pack now. So let's just jump into this and have some fun. Here's some more cute little swatches. This is a sticker too. So you could put this like in your sketchbook or something if you wanted to remember all the colors. And speaking of sketchbooks, they kindly sent me a sketchbook to use with these markers. And what perfect timing because my sketchbook is actually almost full. So really cute one now. Whoa, this is fancy. Look at that. The binding stays like this and this comes down flat. That's really smart. Wow, this is so nice. I'm hyped. And there's a little pocket to store your stuff get out that's adorable okay so we're gonna be customizing a lot of stuff in this video and I'm really excited about this because this is a springy video and there is a hidden game within this video so pay close attention I did this same hidden game a couple years ago and you folks had a lot of fun with it but we are doing an Easter egg hunt in this video so be on the lookout because different eggs are gonna be popping up through the video and it is your job to count how many eggs you see. There's gonna be three different color eggs, pink eggs, yellow eggs, and blue eggs. Tell me how many of each color you see, and if you get it right, I will try to put a gold star under your comment. So yeah, if you wanna join in on the fun, there's a hidden game within this video. Feel free to play it if you want to, or you can ignore it while the eggs pop on and off screen. They can fly across screen really fast. They might blend in with an object in the background or the foreground, or you know, they might just be very obvious. You don't know. So ArtX actually sent me these cute little like egg ornaments and I thought it would be fun to customize one of these. And then I decided to take things to the next level and I hard boiled some of my own eggs. So we're gonna color on some real eggs too and just see how it goes. They also sent me some cute wooden ornaments that we can color together too. Let's just customize a bunch of stuff and really just enjoy the process. Let's start with something of like an easy difficulty and then work our way up to the more intricate things. Folks, I think a lot of art is gonna happen in this video. This is gonna be a really fun thing to color. Spring and summer are probably my favorite seasons because I love flowers. I love the sunshine. I love seeing the earth like bloom again. Oh, they also sent me, I just wanna open this and see. 
Ooh, get out. Bunch of gel pens, like, wow. Okay, I have so many fun colors to choose from. I'm gonna start with some green and do some grass. So as I said, the coverage on these markers is really good and it goes on so smoothly. I've used these markers a lot in the past and yeah, I'm always just really impressed with them. I wanna color in Happy Easter in like a really bright pink. Or do I wanna do like a pastel pink? Ooh, yeah. That's adorable. This egg just for some reason feels like it needs to be yellow. How cute. Wow, this blue is so dreamy. Okay, I kind of want to repeat this blue in a couple places. Here's a cute purple color. I'm gonna make this egg have polka dots on it. Ooh, the middle egg is gonna be this super pastel green. I think this is the eggshell. That's what I'm gonna interpret it as, so. We're gonna do white right here. Okay, this ribbon is gonna be pink. Okay, now for this, I'm interpreting this as like an egg or a basket handle. So I'm trying to decide, do I want it to be white, which I think would be super cute, or should it be like this light brown? Man, I wish y'all could live vote with me. I'm kind of feeling white. Let's just see how it goes. If we don't like it, we can change it. You can always pivot if you don't like something. I wanna take a lighter green and do like grass in the background maybe. Okay, so I'm going to change this to an exclamation point too. I just think that would be so cute. Happy Easter. Wow, that is adorable. Let's try to customize one of these egg ornaments now. This does not count toward the egg hunt. I feel like such a prankster right now. All right, here's our cute little egg. Oh, I just got a really fun idea. Okay, so I don't know how well this will work, but bear with me. By the way, with videos where I do multiple art projects, I like to save the more intricate stuff for last, so be sure to stick around for more intricate things later. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is a pastel rainbow egg. Ooh, this yellow. Oh, this yellow is beautiful. Wow, this one is so nice. Okay, let's do a little blue stripe now. Oopsie, everything was okay. That would have been bad otherwise. Ah, I need to just hold on to this string. Okay, you wanna know what I wanna do now? This might be kind of hard, but I wanted it to be a rainbow pastel egg like this. And now I want to go in and add some really fun details to this egg. So I want to take the white marker and do flowers all over it. I think it would just be super springy and would just radiate happiness. And I also thought of something, I've already dropped this egg twice. I'm about to customize a real egg, like yo. Better not drop that one, cause if it cracks, that's it, man, that's it. I don't know if I should fill in the middle or not, but I kind of like it like this. So let's just do another one and see how we feel. I would say that's pretty festive and springy. Yay, we have our egg with all our cute little flowers. It's either giving spring vibes or like groovy Lisa Frank sticker book vibes. I just mentioned that because I was totally just thinking about that the other day, like in the 90s, you know, some of the things that we used to use. So now that we did this on a fake egg, I think we should do this on some real eggs and just see how it goes. By the way, the eggs that I am customizing in this video do not count toward the egg hunt. For these real eggs, I think I want to do some monochromatic stuff. And I'm seeing some really cool combinations that I can do with these markers. These two look like they would go so well together. So yeah, let's start with a monochromatic egg. And then if we get really into this, which I feel like I'm going to get really into this, then we can do more eggs. <laughs> okay. The first thing I want to do is color the whole thing. 
a solid color. Oh, this goes on so nicely. Just so you know, I'm very afraid of dropping this. Okay, we have our blue egg. Now I'm gonna take this color and I want to do a zen tangle around this egg. And I have something cool in mind, so bear with me. I'm gonna start at the top with a little dot. Okay, so we have our flower on the top and then our little design. And now I'm gonna do the little dashed lines again. All right, so now for this part, I'm going to do little three-petaled designs like that. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, Zen tangles on eggs. Folks, this is fun. You can do it with like moody colors like this or, you know, the traditional pastel colors. And I think either of them would look cool. I'm digging all the symmetry too. I think I'm gonna try to do the same thing up here. Now there's this minty color that I could add. And there's also these gel pens. I don't really know how well a gel pen will work on an egg, but I'm trying it. Oh, <gasps> get out. This is so cool. Do you see the, oh my, this is so magical. What else can I add? This is so fun. This goes on so smoothly too. I feel like each piece right here needs like a swirl too. This just got really intricate. I thought I was about to do something simple and then then this happened. <laughs> I think I wanna add some other details though, cause I'm just having like way too much fun with this now. Of course, I would be the one to get roped into like having the best time ever doing this, but I'm really loving it. <laughs> All right, folks, here's our really cute ultra metallic Easter egg. I need to do another one. I'm hooked. I put it back in the nest. <laughs> here's an egg. I'm gonna take this peach color, first of all, and just start coloring. Y'all, I have a genius idea. I found a shipping tube thing. And I'm just gonna use this little paper towel and look at this, the little customization nest for my egg so I can like not have my hands cramping up. I'm gonna take this blue color and do a big circle and just color it in. We will leave it at that for now. So now I'm gonna take this dark pink color and draw a bird inside. I want it to feel illustrated and whimsical and it just be like a little silhouette with very long legs. <laughs> Okay, so now let's do like a vintage frame around it. See, look how nice this little nest is. I can rotate things. So there's our little birdie. I'm gonna take this gold gel pen again. I love vintage looking stuff like this. Okay, I'm just doing some little touch-ups. I'm gonna hold it kind of close so I can see it better. Maybe you folks can see it better too. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do little polka dots around the egg with this color. Ooh, I should do gold polka dots too. Wow, look at those polka dots. Which egg was your favorite? Do you like the teal Zentangle egg? Or do you like this bird egg? Or did you like that rainbow pastel egg? Let me know in the comments. I have one more thing I wanna do with you folks. There's a lot of art in this video. That's just how it is today. I'm in an artsy mood. But real talk, I really wanna use this sketchbook. I love the color of it. It feels very springy and naturey to me. So Ardax actually has a character named Aggie and it's this cute little bunny. So I thought it would be fun to try to draw that on a page like this and Maybe just add some spring stuff to it. Let's take this black marker and I'm just gonna start outlining. Okay. 
Okay, I think I want to do some like flowers around Aggie. So let's see, maybe this like really bright pink in this yellow. Okay, so this one will be a pink flower. And then a cute little orange flower over here. Okay, so I tried to keep my style for this illustration consistent with Aggie's style, and that is Ardex's character. And I thought it was really fun because I don't normally put black outlines around my illustrations. Usually I would choose like the darker color, but doing a black outline for something like this just made it feel super joyful and happy. And yeah, I just really enjoyed playing around with it and bringing this bunny to life with its flower friends. <laughs> we did a lot of artwork in this video. We customized three eggs. We made this cute little Easter ornament and we drew in a sketchbook all with these markers. I feel like I just got a lot of inspiration out today and I've just really enjoyed the process of creating. I think my favorite thing from the video was this blue egg here. If you wanna see me customize more random stuff like this, let me know. Also, if you participated in the Easter egg hunt that happened all around my video, let me know how many pink eggs, blue eggs, and yellow eggs you saw. Once again, that does not include any of the eggs that I customized in this video. So you can't count these. You have to count the virtual ones <laughs> that appear on screen. Some of them are very, very hard to find. Like I turned down the opacity so they're kind of like see-through. So keep that in mind. If you thought you saw one, maybe go back and look, double check. You may have. Also, thank you so much Ardex for sponsoring this video. I have always loved using Ardex acrylic markers. They have the SimpTap markers too that you can like shake up. I've done a video on them. I really like both. I really love the brush nibs. It's a game changer for acrylic markers. So I'm gonna link these down below in case you want to try them out. They're available in a ton of countries, so please check out the links in the video description. They're also super affordable. And as I said, they stick to a lot of things. You can do a lot of stuff with these markers, so highly recommend. I will see you soon in another video. Have a beautiful day. Bye.